<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're starting. Welcome. We're starting. Do you want to do uh, the introduction or do you want me to? It doesn't matter. You can do it. Team annual inaugural adventure of Lozilla here to present to you these fine articles that Paul Gordon curated and, and talked about for a small blurb. And hopefully there's no typos. Hopefully there's no typos. I tried my best. If we find typos, I quit. I'm done. Tonight's show. Can you spot the typo? There you go. If you spot the typo, keep your freaking mouth shut. <laughs> no, right. no, no, no. Let's, let's go. Let's go through the list and Are see you? what we'll we'll see if the audience can pick. Um, so, Alabama inmate uses peanut butter to break out of prison. That's interesting. I'll highlight Private that. That's a possibility. More, yeah. Private, Private prison, prison needs, more. needs more inmates, or else. That's good. That's good. Uh, the Germans tell the Spaghetti Monster Church to take a flying hike. Yeah. That's a serious <laughs> one right there. <laughs> That's wow, a good one. You approve. You approve. That's, yeah. uh, wow, you're a racist. I am racist. Great. Yeah, you should have heard what I was saying about Spears and, and Target. Britney Spears? You don't like her? She's No, Spears and throwing them. Oh, you were saying this in Target in front of like your studio audience that was not your studio audience? Yeah. And your girlfriend was with you? My girlfriend was with me. So she was enjoying it? She was getting hyped and enjoying the attention? She loved it. Her oh, face. Wow. Was oh, she red. went with it. Oh, okay. Like, See, that's really... a that's a keeper. She she bakes pies and she she handles the the performance, the public performance. That's she loves the performance. That's a good sign right there. My wife, uh, I won't say that she loves the public performance, but she just kind of yeah, she just kind of rolls back. My daughter, on the other hand, which hopefully I'm not sure you will, but hopefully you'll see her this Thursday on on Lozilla PG. Which means it's not PG does not mean Paul Gordon. PG is parental guidance. Parental guidance suggested. Yeah, it's like a it's a step up, it's a step down in, in 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 what we do here. This is this is the rated R Lozilla. She does the PG Lozilla because she's twelve. Okay, yeah, folks. This is actually rated X. No, no, the, we will not be showing any pink penetrations on this show. Okay, so there's, there's no pink penetrations. We may be NC seventeen at times. Okay, Let's, NC seventeen. Now we're sometimes we're uh, NC seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. Sorry. No, no, laugh. it's okay. I like the laugh track. The laugh track. Uh, uh, drunk, drunk dentist serves serves service service. Service. That's not a typo. Don't even. Service seven before serves, staff serves. Serves. Drunk dentist serves seven before staff susses him out. What the fuck? What what is susses? Oh, you've never heard of that's a British thing. That's a Britishism. So to, 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 to suss you out is to figure you out to, to discover what you're hiding. Oh, so he wasn't really a dentist. No, he was a dentist, but they fig they they sussed him out that he was drunk. Oh, I get it. Yeah. This, okay. These are complicated headlines. Uh, not, not written for children, so this could be a challenge for you. Bulletproof rapper killed by bullets. Yep. Yep. That happened. And we're making uh, fun of it because, you know, when people die, you make fun of it. That's, that's, that's what, what we do. do. That's what we do here. Welcome to uh, the lulz. Japan pledges to make poop holes cleaner. Poop, poop hole cleaners cute again. Oh, poop hole cleaners cute again. Yes. What the heck is a poop hole cleaner? The, I guess have, have to read the story and find the, out. Are we going uh, to that one? or? Yeah. Uh, actually, we, well, Mitch said Spaghetti Monster. Mitch said Spaghetti start? Monster. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's uh, Hold start. on. Let me let me open it up so I'm on, on, this, on the same page with you. Where the heck is it? Oh, there they are. The Germans tell the Spaghetti Monster. We're going to open her up. Dude. <laughs> We're going to open her up. We're going to no, open her we up. Oh, oh, and that wonderful picture there. The knitted spaghetti Okay, there we go. Dip, dip, there's the spaghetti monster. So, uh, there's the story. The Germans. The How Germans. could they do that to the spaghetti monster right. church? <laughs> have they no decency? They have no decency. It's very clear that they have no decency. First, they can't. Did you really do this? First. Yes, I wrote this for you. Yes, I did this. I did the. Come on, you. Oh you, oh, you can't carry this line out? It's too much? 
It's too First, much. First, it came for the spaghetti monster worshippers, and no one said anything, for I was not a spaghetti monster worshipper. Then they came for the baconists, and they were the only ones left. Lesson, if you want to continue worshipping bacon freely, support the spaghetti monster church. That's common sense, isn't it? Doesn't that make All sense? Right. So let's see let's, what's 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 the gist here. A German court has ruled that local authorities are entitled to prevent a group calling itself the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster from it is. Ho, 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 hold on. I'm I'm really questioning your your technical uh, acumen and your editing skills. I mean, as you hit saying first off, as you say Church of the Spaghetti Monster, I'm thinking it should be said with with much vim and vigor, and there should be a laugh track at the same time. Where the spaghetti fly or the spaghetti flying monster? I kind of like spaghetti flying monster now. Spaghetti flying monster. I <laughs> fucking love it. Yeah. Um. Okay, so so a German court has ruled that local authorities are entitled to prevent a group calling itself the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. <laughs> I like making fun of religions. From advertising its noodle masses at the entrance to an eastern town. You just think about that. All they want to do is hold their noodle mass. That's they just it. want to hold their noodle mass. What's I wrong mean, with that? There, you know, I don't know if you should be holding your noodle mass. In, public. in your case, it wouldn't be a noodle mass. It would be a, a, a noodle micro. Is that what it would be? I'd be a noodle mass. You'd be a noodle micro. That I was have, a joke that just writes itself. I have, I have the flatter noodles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know how the laugh track is going to work. All my jokes, crickets. All your jokes. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's how we're going to do it. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Left hand laugh, right hand cricket. Left hand me, right hand Paul. <laughs> Got it. That's simple. We're going to do this. All right. We're good. Let's do it. Wait, no. Hold on. This. I don't like this. We already did this. Well, let's go on to the next uh, uh, paragraph, yeah. man. Come on. Do your job. I you pay both. you well. Uh, it's standard practice in Germany for small signs at the entrance of towns to announce there's a Lutheran or Catholic church. <laughs> You don't believe that they exist or something? I don't, don't I'm know. just saying. Uh, funny. It's funny. Right. Uh, detail when it holds services. Uh, the Spaghetti Monster Group, an organization that criticizes religion as intolerant, wanted permission to do the same in Templin, northeast of Berlin. Templin! 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 Templin, Berlin. Yeah, right. Okay, we're going to continue. Um, no, go ahead. News agency DPA... I don't know who DPA is, man. That's a typo. No, it's not. It's name. It's not a. Lower, it's, it's lowercase. Th this is literally cut and pasted from the article. If it's a typo, it's theirs. Then after the typo, you put in brackets. Hey, hey, hey! Hold on. Before we go on with the story, I want to let everybody know that I have been working on magic, and I want to do a magic trick for you, Bodie. Are you ready? You see my hand right here? Look at that. Simple. Yep. Simple. Five digits, five digits, right? Watch this. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! Wow, that was amazing. That was incredible. That's a good one. Wow. That was incredible. Okay. I pulled it off. I didn't. I didn't. I, I've been practicing all day. You have been. So so yeah, news agencies. Uh, that the uh, said that the Brandenburg State Court ruled Wednesday that the group can't claim the rights of a religious or philosophical community. Judge said his criticism of other beliefs doesn't constitute as philosophy. Oh well, who are he? Who is he to define that? What a fucking prick! Uh, the group says that it's a humanist organization and plans to appeal. Fair well, enough. Well, well, yeah, fair enough. But, but I mean, really, this is the end. I mean, people are worried. <laughs> You know, you're worried about the Muslims overtaking Germany. What, what, what about what about the people in your own courts that can't even let the Spaghetti Munster Church have let its day in the sun, right? Get, let right. let it let it let it breathe. Let it let everybody uh, at least be able to look at it in the open air. At least 
once and then and then kill it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> in his noodly name, Ramen. 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 <laughs> ramen. Is is that would that be sacrilegious though? Because ramen and spaghetti are kind of like kind of like I don't know if they get along. They're noodles. Yeah, but the spaghetti noodle, the spaghetti I mean spaghetti monster, ramen. Had ramen real ramen. Ramen is not spaghetti, dude. Have you ever had real ramen? You know, real ramen to me comes in a little container thingy, and it's like I can eat it raw. It's crunchy. No, that's, that's dried noodles. That's real ramen, dude. Okay? Oh, that's not... No, 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 that is real ramen. I don't need any of your purest, hippie, I'm... whatever, Next... hipster, wannabe stuff. Ramen Next... is what ramen is. Next time I come down, we're going to New York. And I'm taking you to a real place, and we're getting real ramen freaking noodles. Okay. All right. Let's do All this. Right. Let's do this. I'm a pastafarian. All I right. You know I did not know that you were a pastafarian. I I'm apologize for that. Pastafarian. I think we're done with this story. What does the studio audience think? Have we punched this puppy in the head? Have we beat this one into the ground? I try to beat it into the ground. If I haven't beat it into the ground, I, I think like I, I should go on further. Hey, let's look at it. We got a couple comments here. Want to look at a couple comments here first? Yeah, do it because I can't. Uh, oh, I'm oh not... Kathy, Kathy Von Elfberg, by the way. Kathy Von Elfberg, I do a show with her once a oh, month yeah. for right now. It's, uh, it's called uh, uh, Morticia's Micronational Minutes. It's about micronationalism. It's an interesting show. She's basically the host, and I'm her madcap producer. Uh, but she says uh, his noodly appendage will not touch him. Uh, hmm. um, I don't know, Kathy, what you mean by that. Uh, John says nudes or GTFO. I'm assuming that's – is that like a UFO? It's like a, like a super UFO? Did he, is he saying he wants nudes or UFOs, Like, but really, really souped-up UFOs? I think it that's means guts, means. tits, fucks, and uh, ogres. Okay. Okay. That's guts, the NC. Guts, and ogres. Is that NC-17 there, or was that just like a little dip into R? Uh, that's a little dip into R. That's just a R. And, and Mitch said that one, but I don't know what you mean. After, right after Mitch joined, he said that one. Oh, she, she, doesn't, she doesn't think I'm a pastafarian. Oh, she said, we believe in high-carb diets, which promote happy and healthy well-beings. Uh, and uh, she likes stickers. Oh, okay. So she's like, she's like, a, she's, she's a Nazi. She's like a Protestafarian. Is do you what know? She is. Do you know the swastika when it's actually correct? It just means like well-being or be well. Yeah, yeah. So take that. So take that. But she's a Nazi. Uh, Kathy's going off the chain. She says, "Great time for oil." Uh, okay. Kathy. Hey, it's you know what, Kathy? It's always great time for oil, isn't it? Uh oh, I think I irked her. No, no. Oh, she's oh, talking to my vaping co-host. You're now, that's who you are, by the way, Bodhi. You are now vaping co-host. <laughs> Let's go to the next story. What do you say, Bob? Next, next story. Let's get to the next, next story. story. This story is done. Uh, what was the other one they wanted? Uh, it was the one you kind of wanted, which I kind of wanted too, which was, uh... Just to make poop hole cleaner. Japan. Japan pledges to... Yes, okay, hold Speech on. Speech ramen. Hold on, dude. Hold on, let me open it up, man. Let me participate. I'm part of the team too, you know? I matter. Kathy's an ordained minister in the church. Wouldn't that be a ministerette? Ministerette? Would you yeah. be a ministerette? Or a nun? A ministerette or a, 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 a mun? You'd be a mun. He'd be a mun. He'd be a a mun. No noodle mun. <laughs> noodle mun. That sounds, that sounds, that sounds X-rated. That I think we just dipped into X. Well, no, we're not supposed to go past uh, NZ-17. So, cause I, no, no. That's yeah, NZ-17. No, yeah. now, now, we may be... Th there is some pink uh, entry that could it's be involved <laughs> in this next story. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to read the title. <laughs> Japan pledges to make poop hole cleaners. Cute again. I mean, this is. You know, think about it. If, 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 if the the man whose name we're not allowed to mention on this show, if he had run with the slogan "Make poop hole cleaners cute again" instead of that maggot crap, he would have won by like seventy percent. <laughs> at least, at least. All right, go ahead. Take it away, man. Man. I'll take it away. Everyone knows how adorable the human back door is, right? Oh, you. Oh, that's not. Oh, okay. All right. All right. 
Right? Go ahead. When we think cute, we think anus. No. <laughs> oh, you did it again. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, apparently, Japanese designers. <laughs> <laughs> think I'm really you hating you. I hate the show. <laughs> I hate the show. <laughs> I uh, think they can go where no cute has ever gone before as they challenge themselves to make a cute character representing something that goes up the poop chute. Because <laughs> poop is funny. Because poop is funny. Always. Good luck, my Japanese friends, and bravo. Bravo. And that's not a typo. That is a theatrical expression of wah. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so let's dig in. Let's dig in. Yeah, let's dig in. Let's dig into the juicies. This is from RocketNews24.com. Always a reliable source. Always a reliable news source, especially coming from our mills here at uh, Nepal TV. Nepal TV on by Godzilla. iState. It's it's a joint venture with Nepal and iState. It's it's it's, it's a, a it's the no TV and the iTV coming together. It's a joint venture. It's a it's a joint venture. Yes, I don't know what you're. I don't. Are you autistic? Suddenly, the this, poop, sh poop shoot. Oh, poop shoot. Yes, right. So you're like doing like this is the enema entering. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Yep. I feel stupid for not getting that right away, but there's two ways to deliver an enema. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's not a line in the article. That's all Bodhi. <laughs> That's a bad one. Uh, okay, Japanese designers have come up with some creative ways to stretch the boundaries of cuteness. Get it? But Can Chan has wrecked them all. Wow, they got jokes for days in here. That was two big ass jokes right in there. Right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was kind of lame. It was. I mean, really. It was. Uh, it was kind of on the corner. It was like they were like at PG thirteen with those. Maybe those even are, not even that. Maybe just like. Maybe. Y seven. Hmm. What? You suddenly can't read, or suddenly? You're, no, you're okay? looking fast and loose with that term sponsorship from iState. Yeah, I don't wow. know what that means, Kathy. She's mean. She's a mean one. You know, this is a this is a friendly show. This is a show for friendliness and kindness and love and caring. Okay. And poop. And poop. Uh, Japanese companies are famously fond of using adorable mascot characters in their marketing. They are actually. That's that's yeah, fact. Really. Uh, Kawaii is a huge market. Um, the strategy isn't employed just for fun products like snack foods either, as you'll find illustrated mascots endorsing such serious grown-up things as daily newspapers and banking services. So far, I could see that. No as problem. well as panties. Um, yeah, with the I added that. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Nobody with else knows, and they didn't need to know. But now that they know, crickets. Initially, it might not seem so shocking that Tokyo-based Ichijiku Pharmaceutical. Ichijiku. Ichijiku. Ichijiko Pharmaceutical Co. Yes, that's out, exactly how you say it. <laughs> named Ken Chen this week. Ken Chen even made her Twitter debut uh, posing in front of the Tokyo Sky Tree. I don't know what that is, but I'll take their word for it. Yeah. Okay, so they make enemas. So the thing is that Ichijiko Pharmaceutical specializes in a specific sector of the medical supply industry. The Mike Enemas. Now we all know where Enemas go, right? Up the poop. Up Shoot. the pooper shooter. And up the pooper shooter. Chan is unmistakable. I would say, what do you? Uh, you know what? Let me let me bring this back on here on my recording here. Uh, yeah. I'm recording, by the way. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see a different version of this show on uh, Facebook.com forward slash Nepa TV. And if you're watching this on Nepa TV. You can eventually see a different version of this show on uh, YouTube.com forward slash C forward slash I state. And if our if our jokes really bother you, feel free to take the content and edit it and and produce it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. This our our, our show is uh, free for anyone to use as they see fit. Although now I we I am saying that we are a Bipcot no gov licensed show because I want to specify I I'm not I'm not I'm saying I I can't fully say that because it's not just my show. So I can't like if I say too much, I will be invading his property, and he could he could theoretically be able to use a nuke against me. Yeah, you violate. Yeah, I don't want to do that. So I'm yeah. gonna walk very very. I'm gonna tread very softly when I say, from my perspective, this is a Bipcot no guff show, meaning government, state, on state paces, 
cannot use this show in any way, shape, or form unless you are a government state of on state base who is, and this is my little little, little clause, uh, a government state of on state base who knows what you are and you're working your way out of what you are. Oh, really? I would yeah. say even if you're working to, like, crush us, that's fine. Yeah, I know. I know you would. I know exactly. It, you would all, like anyone to use anything, even if it's the FBI using it to to condemn us, which we – I don't know why they'd condemn us. I mean, look, we're bringing – look, look, we're bringing this cute little fluffy character to life. What, what's his name? What's his name? Ichijuki Sayakawa, whatever. Uh, Ichijiku Pharmaceutical. What's his, What's the mascot name? Kanchan. 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 I was like, oh man, I'm feeling a little packed up. Kanchan. <laughs> Step on. Yeah, he doesn't like the use of Vaughn. And on over. And on over. Oh, oh, oh! I don't really care, Mr. Kathy, Mrs. Kathy. I don't want to assume your gender. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> no, no. No, you state Yvonne state face. And, and actually, Kathy actually is a state Yvonne state face. So that's, oh, kind state of, state face. that's kind of the irony to this whole. Kat, Kathy Von state face. Kathy Von state face. There you go, Kathy. So anyway, yeah. the moral of the story is the Japanese are awesome. That's yeah. the moral of the story. Yep. So there you go. I think we're done with the story. What do you think? I, I, we're done with this one. We're I'm back move to, on to the next one, man. Find the next one for us. Come on. Do it. Do it. Uh, uh, police form posse to track woman who did oral in McDonald's. Eh. Pie, pig, pie, pig. Pig organ paper can make nice origami or heal people. You choose. How's that hard to understand? All right. That's the one. There you go. I think that is the one. Let me hold on. Let me get it open. So pig can... organ paper can make nice origami. Or heal people you choose, you fucking Nazi. Wow. <laughs> we dipped into, <laughs> we dipped back into R, ladies and gentlemen. But dip back. We were we were maintaining like a PG thirteen for like a solid three minutes. And this, then we went this, to R. Uh, she asked what flavor this vape is. It's um bad drip slabs, um bad blood. It tastes like blueberries. Tastes like blueberries. Now we got our next story, and our next story is pig or in paper. Pig organ paper can make nice pig, origami pig. or he heal people. You choose, and you can see the little picture here. The paper is so flexible. It can be easily folded into origami. When wet, it can be rolled, folded out, and sutured to tissue. And I'll go, okay, go ahead, take it away, Bodie! Ooh. Wow. Man, I give you a big workup, and that's what you give me for that. I know. I'm sorry. I love you. Yeah, you uh, some pig organ paper to heal you from within. That's what researchers at Northwest University are promising. The paper is created from organs. Pig organs, to be exact. They are so <laughs> They can even be used to create cool origami animals cool. because that really helps when it bonds to your skin or something. Uh, that is a theoretical I possibility. What the f what what is the, the just read the story monkey the Keep Okay going. They'd be pretty freaking expensive origami animals but they could do that or you could use them to help cancer patients or heal wounds from within Take your pick Here's the mad science below Left track Hold. Oh man should have been a left track right there <laughs> Yes <laughs> Yes <laughs> It's not really a laugh track, folks. That's a genuine studio audience laughing. I, I'm guessing dick and communism flavored. Yes, Caleb. That is exactly what I'm vaping. That is, that is, that is always, that's Caleb's go-to line right there. No matter what, it's always that. It's his go-to line. You know, what, you know what Caleb needs to do? He need, What do you get? You need to get your master's. Is it Caleb something. or Caleb? No. Caleb? I'm going to call him Caleb. You're Caleb now. Since you, you said that, now you're Caleb. Congratulations. But is there some way to get master in your name? So you're master bader? Oh, Caleb. Ma oh, yes. You know what? His first name should be Mass and his middle name should be Tur. Tur. Mas. Mas I even like, hi, my name is Mas. Middle name Tur. He thought it came up. Bader. But I preferred if you just said the whole name together. Okay, master bader. Okay. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> It's Mr. Beater. Hey, actually, when he was young, when he was a little lad, 
you know, if it would have been like, uh, you know, had a, a wealthy. Butler oh, that's dude, actually his name. If he was a wealthy dude, that, that makes sense. If he was a wealthy dude, and I know he's not, because uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I have cameras in his house. So <laughs> I didn't say that. But uh, if he was if he was a wealthy dude and he had a butler growing up, the butler would have addressed him or his little valet or whatever they have. Masturbator, master, <laughs> masturbator, <laughs> the young masturbator, the young masturbator. <laughs> yes. There you go, <laughs> Caleb. I'm sure you've heard this before. I'm sure it's. Not yeah, I'm sure before. you've heard this I'm growing sure up. None of this routine is new to you. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> Which makes it even better. Once a baiter, always a baiter. Once a know? baiter, always a baiter. <laughs> yes. He says yes, so apparently he has. Yep. Fair enough. All right, so scientists and engineers have invented a range of bioactive tissue papers made of materials derived from organs that are thin and flexible enough to even fold into an origami bird. See? That's, that's where it comes from. See? Okay, so it's an example of its thinness and its pliability. Okay. See? Okay. It, it works. So, stupid. How uh, dare you? Uh, Have you no decency, sir? Wow. I'll wait. Okay. Uh, the new biomaterials can potentially be used to support natural hormone production in young cancer patients and aid, aid wound healing. Actually, you know what? This would also be helpful with um, uh, the sex change operations. It probably it would. Probably would for, for hormone therapies or whatever, you know. Yeah. Or, so, or for turning dicks so, inside so, out. So skip the next paragraph because it actually is a repeat, but which is how they did it in there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the tissue paper are made from structural proteins excreted by cells that give organs their form and structure. The proteins are combined with a polymer to make the material pliable. That makes total sense, right? I mean, I'm reading this. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, why don't we? Or. What? Oh, where'd my laugh track go? Oh, you lost oh. your... Oh, oh, you went to the end. You got to rewind it. Yeah. <laughs> when we say we rewind right. it, we got to hand out coffee to the studio audience because they're falling asleep and they need to be yeah. awake so they can laugh okay. at the right times. New class of blah, 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 blah. Shah is an assistant professor of surgery. Oh, my God. Blah, seriously, blah, this blah. is how you're... Blah, blah, blah. From, for wound healing, Shaw thinks the tissue paper could provide support and the cell... Okay, support. That makes sense. And the cell signaling needed to help regenerate tissue to prevent scarring and accelerate healing. Pretty cool, okay. man. It's pretty cool. So it just provides, provides some uh, support material for regrowth of wounds. That's really nice. Yeah. And it could be origami. If you want it to be origami, dude, it could theoretically that, be origami. That, that turned out a lot more positive than I was hoping. You were hoping for something less positive? Yeah, I was hoping for something funny. Oh! <laughs> well, the funny was at the top. and you know. This one gets a cricket. No, this one's awesome. This is an awesome <laughs> story, man. <laughs> Laugh track or cricket? Not every story has to be funny or stupid on Lozilla, you know. Yes. No, that's not true. Well, the next story is about how we're all going to die of cancer. I'm just kidding. Uh, new learning technique could give you the brain of a child, and that's a good thing. That sounds stupid. Uh, man caught red pooped, so to speak. Trust me. Oh, yeah, we got to do this one. I'm doing this one. Yeah, red we pooped. got to. Hold on. We got to go to this red pooped. Red poop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on. Hold on. Let me get there. Let me get there. I got to get it set up. I wonder if it sounds like in reverse. Go ahead. Let me see it. Let me hear it. See if you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh. Sounds exactly. That sounds exactly like your girlfriend. Oh, it didn't work. That was weird. Something's messed up. Anyway. Um, anyway, man caught red pooped. So to speak, trust me. And there he is. There's the just, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Just look at look at his eyes. Yes. Look at how he's very he, serious looking he, young man. He knows. Knows he done effed up. He <laughs> fucked up. He knows he done he effed up. Can look the camera in the eye. Yes, he cannot. He, he is he is ashamed. And look, the right side of his face, the beard. He has more beard on that side of his lip than wow. he does on the other. That he is, can't even. He can't goatee. even even it. He can't even even the face, man. 
Oh. And you know what? When you read the story, that makes sense that he, he couldn't even the face. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Bodie. Take it away. <laughs> We've heard of people being called re- being being caught red handed, but red pooped. Uh, well, that's what happened to one man. One burglar learns that if you want to get away clean, don't take any crap. Uh, okay, don't leave any crap. In this case, the burglar left a dump, which left his DNA behind at the scene of the crime. (laughs) What an idiot. Well, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the story is from Washington Post. Come on, you can pull it together. I know it's hard. You're like you're trying to come to terms with the fact that this guy gave it gave himself up so easily, right? He so he just doesn't flush the toilet. Yeah. He didn't flush the toilet. You know how hard it is to get DNA from a turd? I have no idea, dude. I'm not a turdologist. I guess that would be a scatologist. I'm not a scatologist. Although this show does have some scatological humor, so I guess in a sense I could, I should know a little bit about this, I guess. Wait, he was arrested on suspicion of burglary. Well, yeah. Suspicion of burglary. You have to say that when you write a news article. You have to. I guess. No, I write news articles and always have to say alleged, suspected, all that stuff. You got to do it. But this isn't a news show, so we could say, dude, did it. He totally did. No, I didn't. <laughs> now, yeah, what I'm if, kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, but but that was for Tiagananda, no, by the way. There's no proof he actually stole anything. Well, no, it's just his poop was there. Right. He, that's not evidence that he stole anything. He might have broke in. Do you want to call Detective Tom Loman? Do you want to actually read the story to the audience so they know what you're talking about? Because you're just like, you're just like, come on. Investigators say a suspect. Accused of burglarizing a Southern California home, took a bathroom break, and left DNA evidence in the toilet that led to his arrest. So the suspect did not flush during the October break-in in the city of Thousand Oh, you're going to skip over. You're not going to give Detective Lo- Tom Lohman his, his glory. You're just no. going to kick tick in. You're not going to give the Ventura County Sheriff's Office their glory. You're no. You're just going to skip right over them and just, okay, yeah. all right. I don't think, I don't right. think this Pretend is. Pretend you didn't hear that. They're, they're basically marking him as guilty when all he did was poop. All they have is evidence of him pooping. They don't have evidence of him burglarizing. He said that allowed evidence. The investigators to collect evidence to conduct a DNA profile. A DNA profile? Right. But that still doesn't mean he stole anything. He was caught red pooped, okay? He was caught red pooped. He didn't get caught red pooped. He's, he's red pooped, man. He pooped Some and got people blamed are for red pilled. He's red pooped. <laughs> He's not gonna no, be woke. So. This, this, this is this, not gonna make him woke. This could have. This could have happened to me and my brother one t- one one time when we were um. Oh, did we were, I trigger you accidentally? I am so happy about this. This is awesome. We were doing landscaping, right? And, right. And of course, my brother had to poop. He always has to poop. Well, everybody has to poop. Um, and and we couldn't get into this house because it was up for sale. Whatever, it was locked or whatever. And we we swore we had tried the locks before or whatever, and it wouldn't open or like ah eh, whatever. When we were leaving, I was like, oh, I'll try the front door. And it opens. And it opened. There's no one there. Creepy. So he went in and pooped. Creepy. And now he couldn't have flushed or whatever. And then someone comes back and breaks in and steals something out of that house. And then the investigator comes and finds poop and traces it back to my brother. Then my brother gets blamed for the burglary. But when all he did was poop. Right. Do you see the problem with this? I see that you have an unnatural uh, tendency to want to protect people who are caught red pooped. Yes. It's I, I, almost like SJW kind of, or CJW, I'm not sure which kind of. Just because you poop doesn't mean you steal. Everybody poops. Well. Maybe you could charge him with breaking and entering if he like left poop on the doorknob or something of, or of the break-in. But oh, we we have Ty with us, by the way, Ty Ty Agananda Swaraj. I don't know Ty if you caught my reference to you earlier, where I I said I'm kidding, I did that for you. But Caleb said maybe he was just walking by and really had to poop and didn't want to do it in public because he's a decent human being. So he just yep. went into this house and poop, boom, boom. Defense yep. attorney, 
You know, Mitch makes a great point. Yo, this homeless guy pulled my hair and ate it, but I bet he broke into that house and pooped in their toilet, and you got my DNA. Boom, defense attorney. <laughs> this this case is not getting. This guy. Yeah, this, this guy. You know, I mean, but but see what'll happen though? He'll panic. He'll be, he'll be like, yo, man, I'm red pooped. It's done. And he's not going to. Yeah. He doesn't he's, look like. I mean, he doesn't look like he's figured he's take, all that out. He looks like he's, he's done. He's scared. He's going to take the plea deal. Yeah. All he did was fucking poop. Right. I mean, all that's it. And, and he doesn't realize that. I mean, like, he could be innocent and still thinking, I got to take the plea deal. There's no I, way. There's yeah, no like, way I, I'm going to get away with something that I didn't do. There's no way I, I got to take the. Because you look at his face right now. I have it up on my screen, too. And he. He doesn't look like he thinks he's getting away with it. He does not. He doesn't have that. Yeah, I don't know if you're if you're, if you're old no. like me, you remember the the Robert uh, Conrad uh, uh, commercial with the battery on the shoulder. Like Go ahead. He doesn't look like a burglar. He you're, looks like a pooper. You're interrupting my '70s commercial reference. He doesn't look like he's sitting there with the battery on the shoulder and like, "Go ahead." Knock this battery off my shoulder. He doesn't look like that. The battery's already off his shoulder. That battery is flowing, and he's defeated. He's crushed, and he's like, "Oh man, I don't." He's a really good poop. He could have been a really good poop, and that's it. Like, you know, he was proud of it, and and they're 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 penalizing him for it. They're penalizing him for a poop. He could have been like like maybe he's like an Al Bundy guy, and he knows for a fact that inside that house is a Ferguson, is the mighty Ferguson. And he has dreamed, it's on his, he's dying of cancer, he only has a few months to live, and it's on his bucket list to, to, to poop at least once on the Ferguson. And so he went into the house just to poop on the mighty Ferguson. You don't watch Married with Children, so you don't get the reference. But you don't watch, you're not, you're not into pop culture. You don't know things. He's a hipster, by the way. But he's a hipster, so he doesn't know things. No, I don't know right, things. Exactly. It's like, oh, yeah, I, I watched Married with Children. I watched but the pilot poop, before it came out. That poop is not evidence. Right. Poop is not evidence that. in and of itself. No, poop is just evidence of presence, but not presence of evidence. Right. Wow. That's You should write that book. Seriously, that's a book title right there. Poop is not evidence. of What? What is it? Poop is evidence of presence. Yeah, poop is evidence of pre presence, but not presence of evidence. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, if if the poop don't fit, you must have quit, right? If the poop don't fit, yeah. There you go. He's he's as clean as OJ. He's Hopefully as, he. He's as he's as literally as as clean as OJ, and uh, I think we're done with this story. I think we got this. We nailed this. You did a great job on this story, by the way. I want to applaud you. Do you have yeah, an applause yeah. thing? Do we have an applause thing? I don't have the applause. Oh, we yet. gotta get an applause thing. Cheat up, man. Yeah, we gotta find some Cheat things. that baby up. Let's do this. Let's do this in the right way. All right, uh, let's go pick the next story, dude. We probably story. got room for maybe two, maybe even three stories, depending on how we go. Uh, it depends how quick. Okay, so Singapore cracks down on toothpick in bus seat crime spree. Yeah. What? It doesn't okay, make sense, uh, does it? Enter P Man at Metallica Con. I'm not. Nope. I'm oh, not. No, because you can't do the pun. Because you no. can't. You can't do the Enter Sandman pun. You can't face that. I'm not giving Metallica the, any airplay. Yeah. No. It's it's not really about Metallica though. No, but it's about IPs, and I have a great disdain for Metallica. It's, it's actually not a, about IP. The story is not at all about IP. I I don't care. They're douchebags. Yeah, but. It's a good story. It's funny. It's, you a, short, know, it's a short one, you too. Know, you want to know why Metallica isn't a great band? Because of IP. No, because they didn't die in a plane crash. Wow. So that's like, wow. I, I do not want to. You know what? I have a one-man band called Frogs Are Alive. Fortunately, Bodie hates that band. And that's a good thing. Because if he liked it, then he would expect me to die in a plane crash oh, to make it better. Upset. Upset. Oh, they rock, though. Did you see their latest music video? Uh oh, they you triggered somebody. Who did we trigger? Oh, they you, used, you, you, they you used strobe light in their music video to make it look like it was getting more intense and they were playing the same fucking bass line. Like, it, it didn't change. It didn't change tempo. They just started using a fucking strobe light to make it look like they were playing faster. So, so mas oh, Master Bader... Should have died in a plane crash. Master Bader said that they rock, though. So Master Bader really likes the Metallicas. 
Pantera is better. Wow. Wow. Kicks. Kicks is better. You guys remember Kicks? The cereal? No, the band. They know that she does body talk. This I can see. She not body talk. Body talk. Dio is better than Metallica. He did. I don't care. He did. He's just a rainbow in the dark. On James Dio, right? It's my best Dio. Yeah. Who 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 was on? Uh, yeah. Who 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 was in the band Rainbow? I don't know. Was Will there you remember me? On the street of dreams, better than Metallica. Everything's better than Metallica. You know who else is better than Metallica? Uh, Orchestral Justin maneuvers Bieber. in the dark. Kanye West. Orchestral maneuvers in the dark. Cross every ocean for the sake of Actually, no commotion. That'll trigger the Metallica I, fans. I have to go on record and say I have more Kanye West in my playlist than I do Metallica. And uh, Kathy says, Possum Kingdom by Totals. Toadies. I'm sorry. Toadies is my favorite song. I don't know Toadies. Do you know Toadies? Does anybody know Toadies? Oh, he's trying to really trigger me now. He's saying Metallica Meta is greater than Rush. You even know though what? You know what? Only Listen, five, as four. much as I can't stand Metallica, got to agree with Caleb on that one. That's objective fact. Yeah, you guys don't like Rush because you're not fucking like, cool. That's no, we fine. don't like Rush because we have ears. <laughs> you know, I yeah. love Get. Well, you know, some once you once the wax starts to fall out of your ears, then you're like, "Holy crap! I like this stuff! Wow! I can't believe that." Yeah, well, whatever. You know, you let's, let's let's find the next story. Um, I don't want to make you cry. Underwear for two. Don't take our word for it. Read the review. This would be horrible. Oh yeah. Under two. Are we doing that? Is that what we're doing? Uh, Star Trek Tricoder comes to life. Marauds get sold in tax auction. Uh, Snowflake Professor dons body armor, helmet, in fear of concealed carriers on campus. Do you want to cover that one? Do you want to do the Snowflake body armor? No. No, I, I, I want to do the underwear for two. Uh, Actually, underwear. I want to do Enter P-Man. But we'll do underwear for two. All right, let's do Enter P-Man. All right, we're doing Enter P-Man. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. We're doing it live! Let me, let me bring it up. Hold on. I got to bring it up. Because it's really not about Metallica. It's about this guy right here. And it's a short uh, story. It's a, we'll, we'll cover this one really, really, real quick. And there it is. He literally takes the piss. <laughs> oh, you're, you're getting ahead of me. You're getting ahead of the recording here, man. Enter P-Man at Metallica concert. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. All over a family. It'll make sense. It'll make sense. Am I ready? Wait, wait. I want to get him in there. There you go. Okay, there's the guy. Now, wait, wait, wait. Let's let's do an analysis of this guy because this is this police photo. So, what does that? What does? What do his eyes tell you? This guy's gonna pee again. This guy's gonna pee again, <laughs> and he probably also pooped in that house, <laughs> in the house from the other story with the. With He's the, probably the guy that actually stole the stuff. Actually, that's I, actually yeah. He looks like yeah. Yeah. This looks like a jackal. Easily a jackaloon. To me, actually, he looks like uh, the 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 way that I read this guy. He's in the police precinct. He doesn't really know where he's at because he's totally gone. But there's a part of him that believes that he has to look like a badass. So he's like a, a totally gone, lost badass. That's the kind of expression that I get. He's like, so, you know, he's hearing like, you know, elephants are talking to him and telling him to kill the president. Uh, but he's still trying to look hard and serious. Like, I'm not, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a man. I'm a man. That's what I get. I'm going to pee on things. I'm going to pee on things. All right. So this story literally takes the piss and throws it on a family tree. Oh, family of three, including a 10-year-old girl. <laughs> wow, you hit the laugh track for that. <laughs> FCC is going to come down on us, even though we're just on Facebook and YouTube. FCC is going to come down on us for that FCC, one. FCC, yeah. A anyway, if a 44-year-old man decided that he really had to go, like now, when he was at a Metallica concert, and he wasn't going to let a little thing like humans being in the path of stream stop him. Yeah, did you see what I did there, humans being? And come on, dude, all kinds of play there, man. You ain't even giving it up for that fine writing. That's 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 harsh. That is that's that hurts. That really sure. hurts. All right, this yeah. is from Huffington Post. Go ahead. 
Oh, uh, yeah. New Mexico man is facing charges of disorderly conduct and indecent exposure after he allegedly peed on a family at Friday's Metallica concert in Glendale, Arizona. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. It's in Arizona. Wait, whoa, whoa. What's that mean? What the heck? Oh, what, what do you uh, got against Arizona? Okay. His name is Daniel Daddio. <laughs> name, oh, my gosh. I didn't even, you know, I, I didn't even read. Oh, my gosh. His name is Daniel Daddio. Daniel Daddio. Daniel Daddio. <laughs> hey, you know what? This is probably <laughs> Master Bader's real daddy. It would Master make sense if Master Bader's real daddy was Yo. Daniel Daddy Yo. <laughs> Pete, hey, little... Daddy Yo! Oh my God. Master Daddy Yo. All right. So the father, who was attending the show with his wife and ten-year-old daughter, told police when he turned around, he saw the suspect holding his genitals. I think that's that sounds weird about. already. No, oh no, no, there's a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's not. Yeah, you know, usually you're gonna. There's, there's probably some in immediate. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. The 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 father confronted Daddyo. Confronted? I wouldn't have been confronted. It would have just been like you know, knee, meat, groin. Would have been like that. I got piss on my pants. You have right now. You have you have you have. You have, you have, you have oh, somebody pisses on you. You punch them in the face. Well, well I'm probably not gonna punch them. I'm just gonna knee right to the groin, and then I'm gonna punch them. No, first act punch is them in the face. Groin. No, no, first act. First act is going right already, for the Goonie Birds. Down. Their hands are already down. No, no, still, I'm getting through those hands. That knee is still going to crush through those hands. It's going to happen. It doesn't stop people. Here's the thing. People think kicking in the nuts is like a really good defense measure. Oh, my gonna... gosh. I am not talking about defense measure. I am talking about you used your Goonie Birds, <laughs> you lose your Goonie Birds. It's a, it's, it's a scientific uh, formula that I'm working out in my head. It's like the law logic of Paul. In, in, in Anarchotopia, that's like one of, probably one of the first laws that you're going to write about. You lose it. You use, you use the Goonie Bird, you lose the Goonie Bird. Yep. Subject anyway. to revision, by the way. Anyway, he was arrested at 9.40 p.m., so he must have been drinking all day. Uh, police said his ticket was located right behind the family. Wow, Almost. I don't know what that means or why that's relevant. And then the judge said the case is one of the most disgusting scenarios he's ever read. What the heck does that mean? I don't. I mean, I mean, granted, you know, peeing on a ten-year-old girl in public or or in any scenario, public or private, is is disgusting. But really, in the scheme of things, why would this be the most disgusting thing? One of the most disgusting scenarios, even, that you've ever, quote-unquote, read if you're a judge. He might be a new judge. That's it. You know, he just came out of law school. He's like, wow, this is one of the most disgusting things I've ever read. And then the <laughs> next day, wow, this is the... <laughs> yeah. Got it. See, this is a short story, dude. See, we made it through. And it wasn't about Metallica. It wasn't about Enter Sandman. No. It was about Enter P-Man. You, Enter you get it, right? I mean, I work I, hard for you. I do this do. for you, dude. I spent like three I, or four hours writing these up for you. That's a lot of effort for not a lot of gain. Wow. That is. I'm just being real, man. You, know, you might want to tone it. You, you know what? You know what you want to do? You want to hit like a, one of those. Oh. No, no, no. We need a. Oh. Like one of those. Like a sympathy. Oh. I need one of those. Let's, let's find. I think we can get one more story out. We have four minutes. We have three minutes, actually. Two minutes. Dude, we could do one more story. Oh, all right. Which one do you want to do? Star Trek? Uh, no, I don't want Sing to do Star Trek. Sing uh, let's, I love Asian stuff. Singapore. Let's go to Singapore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Let me find it. Hold on. Singapore. Yes. Hold on. Let me bring it up so I'm with you. I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up. Oh. Singapore cracks down on toothpick and bus seat crime spree. Boom! Yeah. Singapore cracks down on toothpick and bus seat crime spree. Take it away, Mr. Bode. And there, there you see behind us, you know, the clever picture yeah. of, of toothpicks? Toothpicks. It's just gonna just it. visual. It's going to be worth it. Actually, if you sat on that many toothpicks, it wouldn't be as much of a problem as if you sat on one because it disperses the weight over many. Wow. 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 My, my sister sat on a crochet needle once. It was very painful. For her, not for me. It was funny for me. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. 
Okay. I'm kidding. Sing- I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was for Ty. In Singapore. Joke. Just kidding. Just that's, kidding. That's going to be on his gravestone. Right. It's gonna be Just kidding. Ty- I, I, I'm Just- dead. Just kidding. No, really. <laughs> but that'll be, I'm dead. Just kidding. No, really. <laughs> we amazing. love you, Ty. Anyway. I love Ty. We need to do another show, by the way. Oh, yeah, we uh, do. We do need to do another yeah, Ty show. Back over on Bodhi Zagora. Facebook.com slash Bodhi Zagora. Go check it out. Yeah, get that plug in, baby. Get that plug in. And also go to agora.threadless.com. There's going to yes. be some new sessions. Oh, and also is tv.me. I mean, let's just it's ram it me. with the promos. Let's ram it with plugs right here before yes, we run out. Let's do it. Uh, okay, so in Singapore, apparently crime is down to such low level. I don't know how they talk. I don't know their accents. Wow, crime is just just such low levels. In Singapore, apparently crime is down. That's what we do for Asians now, Southern accent. Right, just to be politically correct, just in case. Yeah, because we can just make fun of Southern Southern white people, but not Asians. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Uh, in Singapore, apparently crime is down to such low levels that the people paid to solve crimes are having to get increasingly more thorough in investing Ooh, even the most getting trip- philosophical. That's crap. Uh, in this case, the crime being investigated involved toothpicks being left in a bus seat. Not that they fell out of a sandwich or something like this was on purpose. <laughs> no, it had to be. This is violence uh, right here. Uh, people, we're only... People where all only one solved unto- unsolved. Oh my gosh, you're terrible. Pick in bus seat crime away. Oh my from gosh, a- you're totally butchering this. I'm going to deliver this line because you suck. People it. where all only one unsolved toothpick in bus seat crime away from anarchy. That's fact. Let's be serious about this unserious quote unquote crime. The next thing you know, it'll be Somalia up in her with toothpicks everywhere. That's that's what it's like in Somalia. This goes to show you that so long as people are paid through theft, remember, folks, taxation is th- theft and whatnot. I and I added a whatnot. I ain't doing it. I ain't and whatnot. They will do whatever they got to do to justify their reasons for stealing your money and paying themselves, including tracking down rogue toothpicks d- d- discarders. You gotta get them. You gotta get them. All right, this is fucked up. Uh, okay, so <laughs> pretty awesome. Singapore man is under investigation for inserting toothpicks into a seat on a public bus. A suspected case of mischief that mischief. could put you on bars for up to two years. You he take that in. Just, Did you take that in? Two years in two a Singapore. Two years. He walks out of that prison, his asshole's going to whistle. <laughs> hey, what are you in here for? Ah, I left a toothpick. Get him! Get him! Bend him over! Bend him over now! Bend him over now! That's pretty much what it's going to be like. This is fucking Come on, you can do this. You can do this. You can push through. Uh, Through extensive inquiries and with the assistance of CCTV footage, officers established... Extensive inquiries. Inquiries? Extensive inquiries. Through through extensive inquiries. Yeah, but extensive inquiries, that means lots of man hours. Think about the money that they're paying to find this guy. They probably just browsed Facebook. They said extensive inquiries, dude. That's what they said. I believe them. Oh, you don't trust authority, but you'll believe them in the report. Because it fits my narrative. So, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, classic anarchist. Hey, you know. hey, own your preferences and your and your cogdis. Own that, too. Own it. Anyway. Own it. Yes. Yeah. So remember to check your seat next time before sitting, guys, she wrote. The post was shared more than 2,500 times. You picked times. the whole thing. Pictures of three toothpicks sticking up from the seat were posted last month by a Facebook user who said she noticed them just as she was about to sit down. Well, then there was no crime. Well, what she's saying, what they're saying is that they put them oh, there purposely to try oh, to hurt someone. No victim, no crime. No, no victim, no crime. And even if they did sit on them, come on, seriously? Yeah. It would have been an ouchies. I'm uh, not saying, uh, you know, actually, if they would have sat on it, it would have been a violation of the nap. Then two years isn't enough. Then it's, it's, it's nuclear. It's nuclear torture. Can you set off like little micro nuclear bombs throughout somebody's body, like over like a two year period of time? So like over a two year period of time, they slowly get nuked to death. Maybe. That would be the only justification. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm sensing some bias in the right. audio reporting here. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so Singapore, a wealthy city state, has one of the lowest crime rates in the world. However, one of the government's public information so Low crime doesn't mean no crime. No crime don't mean no crime. There you Basically, go, folks. He's running out of knuckles to crack. So there yeah. You go. So, so hey, I, I, uh, I think that's our last they're story. Your, they're watching out for your butt crack. That's our that's last great. story. Does that, uh, y yes, Kathy. Oh, Nanotechnologies. Sorry. Yes. Oh, oh, Kathy wants to know, how did I meet this gentleman? Well, it was a blind date, and it worked out. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. It was a blind date, actually. It was a blind date. Yep. Uh, we met at the Rainbow Cabin, the Midwest Peace and Liberty Fest. We touched feet in the middle of the night, and it was the rest is history. The rest is history. Pretty much. <laughs> literally history, because this is the last time I'm going to talk to him. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Thank you. Dude, that deserved a laugh track. I can't believe you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a little under-deserving. That was totally deserving. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. There we go. I guess that's it for tonight's I, I, show. That's it for tonight's show. Does anybody have any last remarks from the from the uh, audience. studio audience? Other than Kathy, who's probably going to say something mean about me again. And uh, I don't know if she... she oh, I missed some comments here. Let's see. Ty. Oh, Ty. Oh, Ty. Just kidding. LOL. He got that. He got the cricket. I look like Muppet. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, and Kathy said, he didn't have to write anything for me because it's a different show that I do with you. And yeah, it would help if I wrote your material. Here, say yeah, that louder. You don't yes, have to get oh, on. Oh, come on. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi I, to I, the lulls. I said, I look, you, 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 Kathy said, I look like a Muppet. And then you said, I sound like a Muppet. That's they true. Said oh, they said that because of the, the video where I went. Oh, oh, yes, absolutely. That's when I realized that you have at least 25% Muppet in you. I have that video, at least. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm thinking one of your grandparents was a Muppet. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying I know which one. I like, I'm, I identify with Beaker. Oh, I love Beaker. And we're done with the show, by the way, everybody. So we're everybody, we're, all, uh, we're, we're next Tuesday, right? Next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Possibly we will have a show this Thursday at 8 p.m. It depends on my daughter. I don't know. You're just going to hold that? like. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to go to... Go ahead. Never mind. Finish. Don't, finish. don't forget to go to all our places. So for me, it's real easy. Is TV.me. All my stuff is there. You can find it there. And by the way, you can also find me if you look. I have uh, two articles now so far that have been on Daily Sheeple. So that's cool. I always like that site, and I'm actually on it, so that's cool. Oh, that page is awful. You know what? You know, you have a whore mouth. I love Daily Sheeple. Huh? I'm a Daily Sheeple fan. Until, whoa, what is going on there? I do not. Nothing. There is something inappropriate going on there. I, that is, uh, listen, Melissa, that's a finger. There's going to be no release at the end of that performance. I'm just saying it's a, wow! I can't believe I said that. Wow, wow. you're going to have to watch the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, you have to watch the whole thing. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So we'll see you guys. Hey, give your last uh, call sign, whatever. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe or follow the page. Oh, yeah. Follow the page, Napa TV. We'll see you either this Thursday at 8 p.m. or next Tuesday at 8 p.m. If you see us Thursday at 8 p.m., it'll be PG Lozilla with my daughter, Mila. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Happy Pilates. Happy Pilates.